Well, two months ago, as the coronavirus was becoming more and more of a crisis in this country, um, I put together seven Ps to help us um, think about what, how to respond um, during this time. But lastly, we need to remember as Christians that um, we're called to pace ourselves. Um, it's been said that this, this whole um, time of coronavirus is not a, a sprint, it's a marathon. And so we need to get the right pace through this time. And actually, there's a danger that um, when we are worried about um, earthly things that we do, tend to push ourselves to work harder and harder. Um, one of the things for successful people is that they're used to being in control of everything. And this time of coronavirus maybe is making them feel out of control. They can't control the spread of the virus. They, they, they can't control the lockdown. Uh, and so they respond by trying to control things. And um, that anxiety that's driving them, force, forcing them to work harder and harder and harder and do more and more things. Uh, and that often can be good things. We've seen that pastoral care is important. But sometimes when we work in a way that's driven from anxiety, we tend to work ourselves too hard. We make ourselves tireder and we become more anxious. But as Christians, we're not meant to be driven by anxiety. We're meant to be driven by love. Love for God. Love for one another. And the desire to seek his kingdom first and his righteousness. Jesus said when we follow him that... He says this, he says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Sometimes we just need to know that we need to rest and to trust in God that he will provide.